Okay, I think we're on, and we're going to start, uh, well, not on that T-shirt, but we certainly will get to it. Uh, I have to start with a disclaimer. Ryan Reeves grew up across the street from our home in Winnipeg, and he's best friends with our son, Darcy. So we will try to keep this as professional as possible. But, good luck. But really, yeah. what are the chances? For what? <laughs> Keeping it professional. <laughs> not very good. Not very good at all. Uh, first of all, Ryan, congratulations on setting up the 2-2 goal tonight, your third point of the season. So you Thank gave you. it a shot. Yeah, I mean, we tried. Um, you know, we're struggling to, to find some 5-on-5 five five goals right now. Um, we're going through a little slump, but uh, we're digging our way slowly. I want to start with the video that went viral around Halloween when you scared the daylights out of Phil Kessel. Um, this really was a work of art. Kessel, your soul is mine. <laughs> Why you not? Don't ever do that to me again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Ryan, having, having watched you grow up, I'd say that's exactly the kind of thing I was expecting of you, and you pay tribute to Phil with the t-shirt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> take us through uh, the planning, well first of all the idea, then the planning and the execution. Uh, the idea, it's been around for a while, I've got, uh, I got a couple guys in St. Louis, I got Chat and Kirk, um, I got um, Scotty Gomez with the same mask actually, uh, I wrapped Ian Cole's car in uh, saran wrap one, one day. Um, I like to keep it light. Uh, I had a, I actually had a different target, but Phil, right before that, told me he hates getting scared. He hates scary movies, so obviously I switched the target to him. And uh, you know, who doesn't love Phil? Couldn't have worked better. Uh, so you brought him to his knees on that day, and then you played him one on one on the court, and you beat him badly. That was uh, an absolute waxing. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. like Here's he's, Phil. He's, yeah. yeah. He's talking a lot of trash, too. That's the problem. I don't believe it for a second. Okay, so we'll see now just how badly you beat him playing basketball. Oh, wow. Do you really think you own Phil Kessel? Uh, at the moment, I do. I'm, I'm waiting for the retaliation, but uh, I don't scare easy, and he's definitely not taking me on the basketball court, so uh, I'm waiting on it. <laughs> and uh, hence the T-shirt, uh, so that's the whole focus here. This is Phil, the fact Phil that the thriller, you, you yeah, have that. Phil right now. <laughs> okay. Um, the trade from St. Louis to Pittsburgh for a first round draft pick occurred on draft day in June and your reaction according to this tweet was uh, one of almost disbelief. Uh, first thing you said was Reeves or you saw was Reeves is going for a first rounder uh, and, uh, and these are your words. I was like obviously that's a bunch of garbage. So how long <laughs> before it sunk in uh, that you were going to the Stanley Cup champions for a first round pick? Well the, the first tweet I actually saw was Reeves for Crosby. So and uh, Chris Stewart texted me asked me if I was getting traded and I was like I don't know why you're paying attention to Twitter right now. Um, and then a couple tweets started flowing through and then I got a call from uh, Army in St. Louis telling me I got traded here and um, started sinking in slowly. Um, I actually I joked with uh, with a couple of the boys back in St. Louis that um, I got to stop having such good games against Pittsburgh. They wanted to want to trade for me because I kept running, caught Crosby a couple times. I scored I think last time I was there. But um, yeah, here we are. Okay, so October seventh, PPG Paints Arena in Pittsburgh. The Penguins required a response because you were beaten 10-1 uh, in your previous game by Chicago, and you gave it to them with a, a couple of scraps uh, and a goal in a 4 nothing win, which had 18,000 plus chanting your name. Uh, what did that mean to you? That was uh, that was a lot of fun. I think uh, I caught a lot of heat on uh, on Twitter from a lot of fans saying uh, this is a garbage trade. Don't know why we're picking up this this meatball, bringing them into. Uh, to Stanley Cup tramps, but uh, I think I won a couple fans over. Um, but it was it was a lot of fun. It was a tough game before in Chicago, so uh, I need to bring a little energy. By the way, because of this, uh, you were big time on Coach's Corner with Don Cherry tonight. He paid tribute to you, and here you are on After Hours. So, uh, uh, hi, Don. I yes. appreciate the appreciate <laughs> yeah. the love. No, he calls you the toughest guy in the league. Here's a tweet from uh, Nick Ciccone. What's a bigger rush, scoring a goal or a big fight to spark the team? Oh, I mean, I don't score very often, so I think that's a bigger rush. But um, I mean, I think the blood gets going a little bit more when you when you get into a fight. OK, that's it for being serious. Uh, check out this picture. Which of these two little goofballs grew up to be a star? Oh, I thought you were going to ask me which one was me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think both grew up to be a star. I think the one on the left grew up a little more of a star. He's, uh, that's, that's Darcy, our son that's Darcy. That's my boy Darcy, right? about yeah. three feet shorter than me when we were, what is that, four years old? Uh, thereabouts. So yeah, it's Darcy on the left, and uh, he has achieved some fame as an yes, illusionist. 
but the answer really is both of you. So as adults, you are a dangerous combination. <laughs> Explain this picture. Oh, uh, going downtown for a interview. Um, caught a little bit of rain. First accident in I think 10 years and uh, I don't know why it looks so happy because that didn't uh, wasn't nice on the wallet, but of course I'm with the Oaks. Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> yeah. You were driving, right? I was driving, yeah. yeah. I think he was distracting me. I think he was singing some stupid song. I don't know what was going on. Uh, I've always said that Darcy has spent his life growing into his head and he's only now just made it. You Finally. Have, yeah, you have spent your life growing into your feet <laughs> and you're never going to catch up. I remember when you were 12 or 13, uh, I'd come through the front door and there'd be a pair of size 15s there and I'd think, there's some big man in the house, but it was you. Size 15s, back then and now. <laughs> <Shot> the feet. <laughs> Where do you get your skates? Uh, CCM. Luckily, they, uh, custom, I think they well. They're all custom they made. They kill but... a lot of cows to make those. <laughs> yeah, I think I ca caused a lot of fights between you and Ann. <laughs> you always walking in thinking some some big black guy is sitting in the sitting in the house. <laughs> it had nothing to do with race. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Just want to make that clear. Uh, here's a tweet or a text. I'm not sure which, but it's from El Debrask. What went on in the Oak? family hot tub oh my god <laughs> what didn't go on in the old family hot tub I, you guys shut that down on us i think uh, i think you guys came home after uh, a little party we threw and for some reason the water was green i'm not exactly sure why and i'm not exactly sure if i could say why but um a lot goes on in the hot tub. Well, it let's used to go on in the hot tub. <laughs> I, I recall vividly the family, our family, sitting down to dinner, and you coming in the house in your robe, saying, "I'm getting in the hot tub," and you just walk past us and get in the tub while we had dinner. So. Well, you, you guys are my second family. Exactly. I, I was very comfortable walking uh, walking in your house with a robe. Do you enjoy Christmas? I do enjoy Christmas. Who doesn't enjoy Christmas? Well, here's a picture that suggests you might not. <laughs> 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 I like I like taking funny pictures. That's well, yeah. That's you I might and the be beautiful the beautiful Alana, be, your yeah. wife, and Canaan. I might be the Grinch. You never know. <laughs> now I just wonder, Ryan, if uh, Canaan will be as musically talented as you are. We've got some video here. It's not great. The video is not great because it it's a very dark background, but the audio is compelling. Listen closely to this. Oh. And I Come on now. <laughs> How do you gonna dig that? <sighs> Wait now, watch for the dog. <laughs> Those breaking people's e eardrums. Come on. Um, behind Will Ferrell, people call me the songbird of my generation, so um, I was just practicing. <laughs> in case hockey didn't work out. I think I was uh, a little Celine Dion there, right? <laughs> yeah, but, no, that's Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston, sorry. Okay. Whitney Houston, yeah. <laughs> My bad. Uh, actually, Ryan, your love of music started at a very early age. My goodness, what's going on? Oh, look at that afro, though. That, those are tight curls. Was that Wild Wild West? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That was my favorite song back in the day. So actually, when you look at that, I guess we conclude that you were destined to be a songbird. Uh, absolutely. and. When hockey's done and I'm uh, out of the league, I think, I I'm sure Sony's on the phone right okay, now. good, yeah, right. Uh, here's Kanan at his dad's stall in the Penguins room, so clearly uh, yours and Alana's finest work. Is he an athlete? He you is. You see any early indications? He's throwing mean right hooks. That's <laughs> that's about all I'm seeing right now, but uh, he he's got some hops on him. He's he's jumping high, but yeah, he's, he's throwing a lot of hooks. Like, I'm gonna have to put a stop to that and knock my teeth out. <laughs> How has uh, Canaan changed your life? Oh man, I like being home a lot more. That's for sure. Um, he, he's a lot of fun. It was uh, it, it was life changing. I think um, it's something that you don't expect to change your life that quickly. But uh, he, he's been a lot of fun. And as he grows up, obviously he's liking me a little bit more. He's starting to play, and uh, you know we play football all the time. It's uh, it's been a blessing. Finally, Ryan, uh, please tell me that this picture was from Halloween. But if it wasn't, that's okay to each his own. <laughs> that is, uh, oh my God, that's how I go to church, actually. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's from Halloween. That's uh, from, from White Chick. So uh, that's a good look, though. The, the I, Damon I, I and Marlon a very good movie. looking white girl. No? It's Halloween, right? I just want to be clear on that. Absolutely. Okay, good. Yeah, absolutely.
Listen, thanks for being with us. I really appreciate Scotty, it. So I love you. <laughs> Bring it into the real thing. Come on now. <laughs> Ryan Reeves uh, lightening up the Penguins room and uh, this program tonight, even if he didn't want to. <laughs> thanks again, Ryan. Thanks.